Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So this is a, a wooden panel which is 18 inches in diameter. And I'm going to create a couple of looms here and from there we'll see what we will do. What I have in my mind, I'm not sure yet what the end result is going to be. We'll see as we go. So um, let's see, because sometimes, you know, with uh, fluid art, you plan something and it doesn't pan out that way. So I'm just going to keep my mind open and let's see what we can achieve from here. So first I will add my Gideon Essential uh, base coat. Just going to stir it a tiny bit. I think this is the right amount. Um, I'm going to spread it a little. I'm not thinking about deconstructed blooms, so I am um, thinking of making two blooms and somehow I will interconnect them and from there we will see. This is not the color I'm looking for. So the colors, let me introduce the colors first. Uh, these are all TLP colors. So, first one that I have, this is Flamingo. Second one that I have mixed is Fairy Floss from TLP. Rosé from TLP. Uh, this one is supernova from TLP then I have this color which is which is called Nettles Crimson from um, Artist Love Professional Series then I have this uh, what is it called Atelier this is an opaque color June Brilliant and also maples yellow, also from Atelier. And I have my cell activator, which is uh, Tri Art Lamp Black. And guys, these are gem. You can buy these from Fluid Art Company. So let's see. This one I'm going to start with the opaque color the peachy opaque color I also have one of the sub color from TLP I don't exactly remember the name right now it's not hoity toity it's the other one um, anyway, after glow, or again, these are all pigments from TLP. Only bright, vibrant color. I'm going to mix a tiny bit of water. Oh, the sub is called Egotistical. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, next one is, again, going back to Afterglow. Now, 
Let's do our cell activator. Okay, let's start. And I'm gonna blow with mouth. So here we go. Um, before I do that, I'm going to pop the bubbles. So far it looks pretty. Let's make another one here. Let's start with Naples yellow. Since I work in the garage, there's not much control over the elements, so I will find stuff here and there, which is literally, I have no clue where they came from, but they are here. See, my cells are getting wiggly, that means some of my, um, colors that I mix, they are very pretty thin. I forgot to mix, mix uh, or put the sap. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, so this is what I have. I am liking so far. It's pretty dark, it's lighter, nice balance. So now I have this kebab skewer and I'm going to modify it a tiny bit. Actually not modifying, I'm just going to meddle between them basically. Okay, so now we are ready to spin. I just put on some protective paper and right in front of me, so because it's a big board, so let's start. Hmm, nice so far.
I'm just going to massage on the sides. see how thick of a paint we have in the center oh perfect it's not too thick so i will stop here um let's look at the flowers i can see that gold shimmers here and there again my here i got wrinkles because some of the paints were um thinner than i wanted it to be so that's why the cells are not that perfectly formed but that's okay because the purpose i'm doing it for i think i'm thinking of something interesting um i will show you i'm not going to share it with you right now but let's see how it dries and from there we'll take it so hang in here i will bring you down to show you the details of this piece I was not sure what I was going for, but I think at this point I am happy with what I have because I think I can create something interesting out of this. So this is my first step and I like the way the shimmers and glitters are showing up. And again, at the end of the day, it's going to be resin. So it's going to be really pretty. You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try to make this line straight. I think that will make me happy. Yes, it does. Always, if you think that you can, you can change something which will make your composition pretty, go for it because that's what you are doing. It's your choice, your painting. Uh, there's no rule for this.
remember the little modification i used to do on the little pieces now i'm working on a big one but i think i like it it's not bad right Okay, let's let it dry and we'll see. I think I'm liking the composition a lot and I'm also thinking the two sides that I have white on, I'm going to do some embellishment on those two sides. Um, not yet sure what I will do, but definitely I'm going to do some embellishment. Once I finish it, I will, I'm going to share it with you. Uh, don't go away because I want to show you the dried result. So this is the dried result. As you can see, all the resins are um, showing their glory. All the glitters are not glitters, I should say shimmers. And of course, as I said, that I'm going to embellish this piece. So once I do it, I will post the pictures. But for now, here we are. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And I want to hear from you. What do you think about this piece? What can I do to change it or make it better?